Hey, so uh, last week I read a book about uh, you know these these true stories of a Danish man uh, sneaking Bibles into the old Soviet Union and experiences he went through uh, trying to do that. <laughs> and it was it was an interesting read, um, but you know it 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 amazed me you know how much you know, this, the officers that worked at, you know, the Soviet police and things like that, you know, people like that, how much trouble they, they would put you through back then just for, you know, having a Bible in some cases, just a Bible, one Bible, okay. <laughs> and especially if you're a foreigner, you know, and how they would just, you know, it, it's pretty wild, like, you know, the, advanced interrogations and uh you know just spying on you and and all, and all this stuff but it, you know it, but it, but just you know it, it really touched me to really you know think about how, how how much people suffered not just the soviet union that's just one example but just throughout history you know just to have the bible in their hands and even in their own language, okay. And you know, j just in case you may know somebody, um, maybe that doesn't speak English, um, you know, and you want to give them a Bible in their language, you know, I, I'll recommend to hear the Trinitarian Bible Society. You know, their translations are based off the. Uh, the Greek text is Receptus and the Hebrew uh, Masoretic text. And, uh, you know, they have... Uh, some of them are, are complete Bibles. Some of them may be like New Testaments or a, a few Gospels or something, or like the Book of Romans. But some of them, they do have full Bibles in... You know, you, you'd have to just click here and find out. But, you know, he, you know their, their missions to, you know, put or, you know, ha have Bibles in other, la well, English as well, right? But, like, ha have Bibles in, in languages of other countries, too, and, uh, you know, e even if they don't, even if there's, like, you know, no accurate translation to try to translate it into uh, even a few more kind of obscure languages, like Amari, you know, it's a, a, a language in New Zealand. Um, I heard they're even working on a on a a sign language Bible, which I don't even you know <laughs> no, they would do that. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if they have a Braille Bible, but uh, I know Braille Bibles exist. But anyways, here, here's just you know some of the languages that they have that you can get Bibles in. You know. I bought an Italian Bible from them a few years ago, and it's a full Bible. Um, I bought a Russian Bible from them to, I gave it to this Russian girl some years ago as well. Um, but you know, maybe you know some somebody in your area that doesn't speak English very well. Maybe they speak one of these languages and you want to give them a Bible, or at least a New Testament or something. Uh, check it out. Um, Trinitarian Bible Society, they have, you know, different branches. So depending on where you live, you know, pick the branch. That would happen when you click on store. Okay. Um, for example, if you're in, a, if you're in Canada, you pick the Canadian branch. If you're anywhere else in the Americas, you pick, you know, this branch here, down here. There's an Australia, New Zealand one. Uh, if you're not, not in the UK or in Europe or you, like, you know, you can click down here. It'll be handled by the UK branch. And they also have, uh, you know, their website in different languages. Okay. These are the languages they have their website in. You know, here's the, uh, the Portuguese one. Um, 
Also, they have these resources that you could download. They're PDFs. There are some books of the Bible in different languages. For example, you know, the book of Hebrews, Romans, and Galatians uh, in, in the language of Hebrew. You know, so if you maybe know a Jewish person or something, you can, if you want, you could download that and just email that to them or something. You know, they have the ch they have uh, the Gospel of John in Chinese. They have it looks like a parallel English Chinese Gospel of John as well. They have a Catalan, Bulgarian, Armenian, Farsi. Uh, it's the language they speak in Iran, if I remember correctly, French. You know, Russian. Uh, but anyways, um, in case you're wondering how to, you know, find the Bible for somebody in a different language, this is an option, uh, Trinitarian Bible Society.